Welcome back to the Wildlife Garden Project. Today we're going to be showing you how to sort out bird feeders in your garden. And the reason why we need to do this is so that we can help birds through natural food shortages and help them feed their chicks in the spring and the summer. So we've got a range of foods here to show you, all for different birds. We'll start with this one here. This one's a basic seed mix. It's got lots of different sort of small seeds which lots of different birds will feed on. So if you're only going to buy one, it's probably a good idea to buy that one. There's plenty of other things you can buy as well. These are black sunflower seeds. These have got a high oil content, so that's quite good for the birds. It's high energy. It keeps them going through the winter and it's good protein in the spring and the summer. Uh, next, we have these teeny weeny little seeds, which are very, very good for finches in particular, gold finches and green finches and siskins as well. This particular mix, it's got red millet, sunflower hearts and niger seeds in it. And these niger seeds are perfect. For that sort of thing. Uh, moving on we have peanuts. They can be very good, they're very high in protein as well. Um, obviously avoid salted uh, dry roasted varieties. Um, but the thing to bear in mind when you're putting peanuts out is that chicks can actually choke on these. So it's best to put them in some sort of feeder that they can peck out and get little bits or crush them before you put them out. So just bear that in mind. Okay lastly we've got some really tasty treats here. Mealworms. Robins love mealworms, so if you like robins, put some of these out. These, ideally live ones, if you want to keep some live ones, if you want to farm that, that, the birds will love you forever. If you can't get live ones, get these dried ones and soak them first, because they're much nicer when they're soaked. Um, just make sure they're not discoloured if you do buy them dead. Uh, they can make birds ill if, you, if they're sort of a bit discoloured and horrible, but otherwise, a very tasty treat. Okay, so finally, we've got these fat balls which are fantastic for the birds for during the winter. This gives them lots of energy, lots of insulation, and it gets them through the harsh weather. The thing to bear in mind though with these is that this netting can trap the birds' little feet. So always remove this mesh and put it on a, either a designed enclosure or put one on a bird table. So that's great for getting them through the winter, but they don't have to worry about that at the moment. The sun has come out and it is glorious now. So next we're going to look at bird feeders. You can get an immense range of bird feeders and to be honest I wouldn't worry too much about which ones you go for. Some of the cheaper ones can be easier to clean, they haven't got all the fancy bits on. But um, it is actually better to make your own feeder. Um, we will be showing you how to do that in another video but obviously if you haven't got time um, or you want one straight away, um, these are absolutely fine for now. The thing to think about is that you get different feeders for different types of food and different types of birds. These are your basic one. Again, if you're only going to get one, get one of these. You can put your basic seed mix in there. Your birds can perch on. Um, we also have sort of slightly different designs. This one's got small holes in, uh, designed more for sort of very small seeds. So this is good for the, the Niger seeds that I was showing you earlier and any, any sort of seeds like that for finches. Um, we also get these peanut style feeders. So again, they can only get little bits of peanuts out and they're not going to choke on a whole peanut, but that's what they're ideal for. Um, there are also ground feeding birds such as dunnocks and thrushes. Um, they don't like to be clinging onto a feeder so they prefer to get the food off the floor. So always scatter a bit on the floor. Just make sure you clean it up every now and again so you don't get any rats. Another thing to think about is a bird table. It's fantastic for putting out scraps of food that would otherwise go to waste. Um, things like cake crumbs, cereals, cooked rice, soft fruit, old vegetables and things like that. They, lots of different birds will have a snack. Even eggshells is great for calcium. And particularly for blackbirds, things like bacon rinds and dog and cat food, they are great for, especially in the height of summer when the, the ground's gone hard and they can't get at the earthworms. So things like that provide them with valuable protein. So the next thing to think about is where we're going to position the bird feeders. It's sometimes a good idea to position a few in different areas of the garden. Some birds like house sparrows and starlings for example can be quite territorial about their bird feeder and collared doves can just eat the lot. So by positioning a few in different places you ensure that every bird gets their share. So when we're thinking about positioning make sure it's in a place that's not too windy, not too sunny and just generally nice and sheltered. The birds also need quite a clear view out so that when they when they're approaching it, they know that it's clear from predators that might get them. We're going to position this one quite high up so that cats can't get them. And we're just going to slide it on here 
onto this branch. And that should be a nice position for the birds to get a nice meal. There we are. can be quite a problem in a lot of people's gardens so it's always a good idea to use what you've got to your advantage. Holly trees for example have got really spiky leaves and no cat in its right mind is going to get amongst that no matter how tasty that bird looks. So I'm going to stick it in amongst this spiky holly bush and hopefully there'll be a nice safe retreat there for the birds to munch away on those peanuts. It's particularly important to put fat balls out during the winter, but if you do want to put them out in the summer as well, make sure you only put a little bit out because they do go rancid quite quickly. And it's really important to keep your bird tables and your bird feeders clean. Diseases can spread really quickly in the garden, so just keep them clean and that won't happen. And another really essential thing to think about is water. Just provide a bird bath or something similar, and the birds can have a bit of a splash around and have a nice little drink, and they'll be much happier. And consistency is really key when it comes to feeding the birds. They will come to rely on you. So once you start putting food out, make sure you carry on and enjoy the birds in your garden. Mm -hmm.